Okay, we're looking at something a little bit unique here. This is the Illinois 14 BIOS. Um, I'm here because for some reason, it's not UEFI, U, UEFI or whatever it is, but for some reason the i7-4700MQ was locked at 2 GHz. It wasn't going up to 2.4 or it's 3.4 on turbo speed. And I didn't really find uh, why except for coming down here to performance options, non-turbo flex support, and um, ratio override. It was 24 before, so I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to overclock this laptop because it gets um, pretty warm enough already, actually. But um, turbo mode was already enabled, so I have no, no idea what happened. Sometimes it just needs to be turned off and back on again, you know? Now get to you when it's booted up. This can take a while. Okay, it has just welcomed me back on. Perfect timing on my part. But we still have to wait for the each, um, extensions and everything else to load. I just did a adware cleanup to make sure there's nothing on it. And there actually was a few things on it. I don't know how, but they're gone now. And now we just gotta wait for the extensions and it will tell us the um, current clock speeds. I don't have CPU Z on here, do I? No. Because I never needed it on this. I have the other um, big computer right here because I was looking up possible solutions and I found one but it didn't work. I had to go into Microsoft Config and enable or disable some startup options but there's nothing there that could um, mess with this CPU speed and you're probably going to say it's the um, power adapter no because even on battery it does it this is actually a beefy beefier power adapter it's meant for the M17X so it's got 220 watts of total power I need to defragment this drive. I haven't done it in a couple of months. Yep, definitely need to defragment. I'm trying to close Skype, but it won't let me. Now the whole thing froze. It's never done that before. No, really, it's never completely froze up like that. The closest thing that's ever happened was a micro stutter f from the NVIDIA card when gaming. And even then, it was only a few times I hit then I used NVIDIA's optimizer and it went away. So for it to lock up like that, I don't know. But it is going at its full 2400 megahertz base speed. And oh my god, Skype, get out! Alright, waiting for the last part of the extensions to load up, which is the temperature monitor along with memory monitor for the GPU side. And Intel Turbo Boost is once again working because before it just wouldn't go above 2 gigahertz. 
or 2.1 gigahertz. And the base speed 2.4, yay, 3.2. I guess it's just needed to be turned off and on again. 32 degrees, that's a lie. There you go, 132 degrees. That's more like it. Okay, problem solved.